Okay, we're back in the Sumerian translations. We're going to compare what we got here with Job. Now, I'm not going to be able to go into this too deep because I want you to read the comparison scripture here that's going to fill in a lot of information. It's going to show you the connection between what I talked about with this work that the gods were digging and why they needed to create this creation of a form of mankind to do this work. And I'm telling you that the work was digging out the Absu. Okay? So we're going to see the connection here with Job. The main connection to make at this point is the clay connection, the similarities with the creations here. There are others, but that's what you're going to be able to first see. So let's listen here as I read. This Ea here is Inky. Inky is the one who is equated with the Apsu. The Apsu is the bottomless pit. It's the same character as Apollyon. Ea made his voice heard and spoke to the gods, his brothers. Why are we blaming them? Now he's talking about these other gods who you would equate as the ones from Genesis 6. Their work was too hard. Their trouble was too much. Every day the earth resounded. The warning signal was loud enough. We kept hearing the noise. There is. Belit Ili, the womb goddess, is present. Let her create a mortal man so that he may bear the yoke. So that he may bear the yoke, the work of Illil. Let man bear the load of the gods. But let Illy, the womb goddess, is present. Let the womb goddess create offspring. And let man bear the load of the gods. They called up the goddess, asked the midwife of the gods, Wise Mammy. Now you see where we get Mommy from. Wise Mammy, you are the womb goddess to be the creator of mankind. Create a mortal that he may bear the yoke. Let him bear the yoke, the work of Illil. Let man bear the load of the gods. Nintu made her voice heard and spoke to the great gods. It is not proper for me to make him. The work is Inky's. He makes everything pure. If he gives me clay, then I will do it. Inky made his voice heard and spoke to the great gods. On the first, seventh, and fifteenth month, fifteenth of the month, I shall make a purification by washing. Then one god shall be slaughtered. And the gods can be purified by immersion. Nintu shall mix clay with his flesh and his blood, meaning the flesh and blood of this slain god. What they're telling you is that they're taking the genetic material and they're combining it with earthly materials. And that's the symbolism for the clay. Then a god and a man will be mixed together in clay. Let us hear the drumbeat forever after. Let a ghost, now that's going to be the soul, the spirit. And they're saying that this spirit is coming from the God, come into existence from the God's flesh. Now they're saying that this is how this man comes into life, is that they're mixing the material with this slain God, and that they're mixing that slain material, that heavenly material, with this earthly material, the clay. And that you're going to see that they are trying to validate this breath of life or the soul that comes into existence as simply being the passed over soul from one of these gods. And it says, let her proclaim it as a living sign, a living sign. And then you see Genesis equate it as a living creature. So the sign of the soul means it means conscious life and it separates that us from the plant world because even animals have a conscious life they're considered living creatures also and let the ghost exist so as not to forget the slain god now i got this here mark because it goes deeper we're gonna have to go into it another time they answered yes in the assembly the great anunnaki who assigned the fates all right now they repeat it again they slaughtered in their assembly mixed the clay now listen to job Job is under the impression of the same story. Remember, I beseech thee that thou hast made me as the clay. Wilt thou bring me into the dust again? All right. Now look, friends. Man, oh man, oh man. It's deeper still. Okay. None of this is cut and dry. You got it. This is real deep. I got to leave you right here. I'll come back. I've given you much to think about.